beautiful morning. All right, y'all, we just put in. There's the boat ramp. Uh, we're gonna go back to do some of this deep brush and I found a couple before I left the other day, just covered up with them. So we're gonna go around down here and we're gonna throw this new color jig, kind of like a key lime color. I don't think we've named it yet. So y'all name it, okay? It's a little run. We're gonna have to take a run this morning, so a little cool. down to give me two beautiful though all right so we're gonna get set up get the graph on i'm gonna show you from scratch we're gonna tie on a new jig head because where i was at the dock the other day i just beat this head flat so i'll show that to you here in a minute too um let me see so I got the graph going i got the sensitive tie you see this is just static there but when i scan around here look at that See that big old brush pile right there? So you can't really see, but there's fish just stacked in that brush pile. So there's another one to the side. See, there's a smaller one. Look at that one. I mean, that joker looks like a Christmas tree, man. About 40 feet out in front of me. That's nuts. See, I grab marked it there too. But you can see it there coming back up. See him, see the fish around it. It's just out in front of me a little bit. It's crazy, dude. Crazy. So you see what's waiting on us. Okay. So I told you we're gonna retie. That's what we're gonna do. Again, I'm using five pound test sunline. A little 16th ounce jig head. But look, you can tell where I beat the dock. See how flat I am fishing them docks. So we're gonna retie this, put a new jig head on. And we're gonna try the new color. This is the grass shrimp. We're gonna try that new key lime color. Y'all named that, I don't know. We'll, we'll look at it here in a minute, hold on. All right, so we're gonna retie. This is, this is, this light line is, you know. Okay, look, this is what I do. I take my line and I double it back, right? I don't know, six to eight inches or so, and then I just twist to make it a point. Can you see that? I feed that point through the eye, of course, you know, my vision is not like it used to be. And then I just twist it about three or four times. Go through the loop there at the eye of the crappy jig, y'all. You know. I can't see it that well. There we go. And then I just take that tag in and put it back through the loop you just made. Can you see that? And then I just pull everything tight kind of wet it too right and then just snip off your ends right it's kind of like a super strong knot there okay I've been out the hook just a little because I'm gonna go right over top of this brush to begin with hold on we're gonna show these jigs to you all right this next part we're gonna Three of these jigs, little pop pillar jigs. So uh, Ralph likes to call them tadpoles, but that's the grass shrimp. That's been the burner right there. And this is the new one. It's like a pearl tail, green body, got some flake in it, red and blue. I 
a key lime is what it looks like to me. But anyway, you want the hook to come out as the back or the opposite end of the pot belly. Okay, so watch. I'm gonna do straight and gotta try to keep it centered as much as in that jig as possible. Your hook, right? And then I come out, try to get, come out just to center as much as you can. Okay. And then you put your little sweet bites on there. And make it straight as possible. So a little crooked, but we'll try. And again, this is the new key lime color. That's the grass shroom. But you always want it to come out, the hook to come out on its back. And them tails, man, from they'll sit there and just twitch just from the nerves in you. So you just don't have, don't give them a lot of action. You don't need to be jigging it a whole lot. Okay, again, 16th ounce. All right, so let's take a look at this brush poly. There it is. Some bait right there. There's your brush pile. Let's slow down the trouble a little bit. Let's see if we can find her again. Right there, it's right in front of me, just about 30 feet. That's a good brush pile too. So let's see if we can pull off any fish here. There was some hovering around it. That'd be your bigger fish. There's one there on top of it. Well, it's right here, 15 feet in front of me. Right here on top of it now. You can really start to see the individual fish pull out out of them, swimming around. That's just nuts, dude. first crappy on the old new color it's a baby but man they just coming up on that out of that brush and grabbing it before i can even get down to it we'll let him go little little guy Jump over here beside me. He just barely had it too. They eating that new one, but not like that grass around. That is nuts, dude. Absolutely nuts. Another good one. There's a little better one. There's a little better one. He wanted it. There was two or three of them looking at it. A little bit better one. Thick. These fish are getting thick, boy. Getting thick. Oh, let him go. Looks like they're stacked on the front side of it. There's a small, another small. Let it go. 
Well, I gotta force it to them, but they eating it. Put a little fish, we'll let him go. This is a southern brush pile. See it right there. And a whole lot of fish on it. Just lit up good. And all them are fish right there on the top of it. Put the water temperature down to 80 degrees. I don't even see my jig going down there. Pushed up some more brush, still with a grass ramp. Another good little fish, we'll let him go. Just going down the bank, finding brush pile after brush pile. It's nuts. There's a little better one. It's a blast, man. It's a blast. A blast. Traffic's getting bad. So we've had a pretty good morning. Found a couple brush piles. I see how the fish react to stuff. New jig. Killer new little key lime color. It's gonna be a burner when this water gets a little bit more color to it. Now they engulfing it now, boy. I mean, choking it. Yeah, but I wore out this one jig. Let him go. 
go. All right, y'all, there it was. Tell me what you think, man. It, it was an incredible day. I, I just went out and played, man, just messing with the graph, messing with it, and you bait. Uh, and then we got more stuff coming. Greg and them's got the twins. They got more killer colors coming, um, sizes, some bass stuff. I mean, it's just incredible what they do. Anyway, hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. First half of this day right here. Let me know what you thought about it. And then, then we're going to get on to the next, which is the second half of this day. And I found a great big old brush pile out in the middle of nowhere. Um, okay. Hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. On to the next. Crash.